Thank God you're here, Trophy. But first, it's the final group challenge. Would you please welcome back to the stage Lee Mack, Phil Nickel, Jenny McAlpine, and Marcus Bigstock. <laughs> Um, I'm, glad, I'm glad we're meeting here rather than in a dark alley. Uh, <laughs> any ideas what it's the world I think be? I'm doing leather-clad toss pot. <laughs> <laughs> One of the smaller villages in Berkshire. <laughs> OK, well, in that case, your final door awaits. In you go, you leave first. Best of luck to you. Oh, thank God you're here! Come on in, take a trick or treat. That's it. Sit yourselves down. Come on, here we go. Uh, come right. on, in you come. In you come. Sit Hello. yourself down. Right, here you are, boss. Here's the team for you. Ugh. We have got Jimmy Knuckles McCracken. Go on, Jimmy, tell them why they call you Knuckles. Well, it's because people came making fun of my voice, and so I crack at the knuckles. <laughs> Every time someone says, hey, Jimmy, what's with your voice? I crack at the knuckles. Also, we got Frank. <laughs> Frank Fingers Willis. And Fingers, why Fingers? I've got Fingers. <laughs> Have you got fingers? I have. Nice. <laughs> We've also got Daisy, the axe, Butterfield. The axe, eh? Why the axe? Why the axe? Why not? You know what I mean? Also, we've got Freddy... <laughs> Freddy the Lawnmower Edwards. How does a gangster get the nickname Lawnmower? Well, that is because I have my own lawnmower and I often take it when I work on a job like this. <laughs> I just bring it and, you know, when people see me coming, I say, I will mow you. <laughs> and they say, not, an not another mowing from you. And I say, yeah. Now, just to show that we're all mates here, let's have everything on the table. Come on. Everything you got on the table. Shooters, everything that works. Everything? Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what? Sit down. What would a professional criminal be doing with a girl's allowed CD? <laughs> well, that is a CD that in Germany we think is a top CD. <laughs> it is either them or David Hasselhoff, and I choose them any day of the week. I like these. Okay, okay, down to brass tacks. Oh. Can anyone tell me what we're looking at here? That is my house. Mm. <laughs> it's Abercroom Castle, the most fortified castle in the whole of the country. CCTV, motion sensors, infrared cameras. Any ideas how we get in? They've got a lovely cart. <laughs> uh. Boys, boys, boys! Come on. We have to it... think about this. I have a little plan. Tell us. It seems quite small. Maybe we could just step in. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Just all... That's just step in. Four for four. That's a great idea. But there's another idea we had before that. Yeah. Now, Lord Abercroom has one weakness. Knuckles. Tell the others what it is. He's dead. <laughs> he died last night. I killed him. Well, I heard that he likes to order a nice pizza. At least his missus does. But fingers. This Sunday, we're going to put something on that pizza you don't normally get on a pizza. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. Ham. <laughs> I never usually you have never ham. Had ham. Never use ham. But we're having ham I on Sunday. Ham. I keep forgetting where I'm from. <laughs> I don't know why I started talking like this in yeah, the first but, place. Well, <laughs> we're putting sleeping powder on it. Now, once they're asleep, it's straight up to the bedroom and X. You know what we're going to find in the bedroom, don't you? Girls are lad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a painting. It's not oh, a Van Gogh. The painting, the painting, right, That's the right. painting. Not a Van Gogh. Not a Picasso. It's the most valuable painter there is. Rolf Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Harris. Well, I bet he wouldn't shift as much Bob as Rembrandt. It's a Rembrandt. He's kept in the safe in his bedroom. We take the painting and Scarpa. Lomo, where's the last place the police will think to look for us? Wherever Osama bin Laden is. <laughs> Although now I feel maybe I shouldn't have mentioned him. <laughs> He's taken us to a dark place. <laughs> like a cave. 
Well, good luck, everyone. One last thing. When we get out, we escape. If any of us get caught, what's the golden rule? He who smelled it, dealt it. <laughs> <laughs> come forward, come round, come forward. Congratulations. Well, fantastic. That was extremely well done. That was, that was, that was absolutely brilliant. Uh, characters all the way. Um, well, now it's time to decide who walks away with this uh, Thank God You're Here trophy. Um, Marcus, congratulations. Um, you were wonderful. <laughs> Jenny, very well done. We'll never look back at the 19th century again. Completely different light. Lee, Lee, your athletic performers, very good. <laughs> but I think just for his portrayal of the campus cowboy from Kansas, <laughs> Big Pistol Peter, Phil Nickel, you are tonight. <laughs> winner of Thank God You're Here! Thanks to all our performers, Lee Mack, Jenny McCalfoy, Phil Nickel, Marcus Bigstock. That's all we've got time for tonight. See you next week on Thank God You're Here! Yay!